woman who's 100 years of age. Here it is. I am 100 years young. I'm here to pro protest our school's district book banning policy. My husband, Robert Nickel, was killed in action in World War II. At a very young age, he was only 26, defending our democracy, constitution, and freedoms. One of the freedoms that the Nazis crushed was the freedom to read the books they banned. They stopped the free press, banned and burned books. The freedom to read, which is protected by the First Amendment, is our essential right and duty of our democracy. Even so, it is continually under attack by both the public and private groups who think they hold the truth. She said more, here it is. In response to the book banning throughout our country and Martin County, last year, during the time I was 99, I have created this quilt to remind all of us that these few of so many more books that are banned or targeted need to be proudly displayed and protected. And read if you choose to. The quilt was shown on national TV as part of Ali Valshi's banned book club segment. Banned books and burning books are the same. Both are done for the same reason, fear of knowledge. Fear is not freedom. Fear is not liberty. Fear is control. My husband died as a father of freedom. I am a mother of liberty. Banned books need to be proudly displayed and protected from school boards like this. Thank you very much. One hundred years of age. Living one hundred years guarantees that you have experiences, you have some wisdom, you have some insight that we do not. The historical context in her comparison is accurate. The Nazi did the same, not because they disagreed with people reading, but because they disagreed with people thinking. They wanted to eliminate knowledge. Knowledge creates independent thought patterns. It is difficult to indoctrinate a class of individuals if you have knowledge. But when you shortstop the information, manipulate the facts, provide your his story rather than history, you can then manipulate the masses to do your bidding. Way to go. Uh, let's put her picture up full mass here. Very thankful for your leadership, madam. 100 year old widow to a World War II veteran is seen there comparing her Florida County's book ban to Nazi Germany. Her name is Grace Lynn. Ms. Lynn attended the Martin County School Board meeting on Tuesday to protest against Florida's new law that only allows books which are now state approved on the reading list. And remember, if a teacher violates that approval process, they can be charged with a third degree felony per the Department of Education in their clarification document. In Lynn's powerful message, she, she says, banning books. Remember this quote, banning books, burning books, all the same. Both are done for the same reason, fear of knowledge. Fear is not freedom, fear is not liberty, fear is control. And I wanna remind you, anytime you see the tactic of fear, 
I want you to remember what fear is, F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. All right, dear brother, thoughts here. Um, great stuff all around. Um, I'm glad that she attended, I'm glad that she spoke. When I was doing a story on um, a black writer whose stop in Birmingham was canceled. I looked into what they were canceling him over and they said it was alleged social media posts even though they couldn't even find what those social media posts were the last time I checked. And he also wrote a book that was going to be banned which was about Tommy Smith who is one half of the Olympic gold well, gold and bronze medalist at the 1968 Mexico games when they famously stood up there and protested the same things that Mahmoud Abdul Rauf and Colin Kaepernick were protesting and many others will be protesting I'm sure that book no more a book on Jackie Robinson was banned um a book on Harry Potter was banned. A book on Satchel Page yeah. was banned. It is this fear of knowledge. Um, and in my opinion, I think I can say this, it's, uh, it's white people's fear, um, predominantly white people's fear about them being taught the history that they don't want their kids to be taught. I saw this one meme, basically um, when schools were being integrated, there was those who opposed it, right? And in, in Little Rock, there were a ton of people yelling at the black students coming in. And essentially, someone phrased it as, those are the people who don't want the history being taught about what they did, which I agree with. Lastly, I believe this is a losing issue. Independents don't like it, Democrats strongly oppose it. The problem is there are too many groups that have come up and that have even links to Ron DeSantis and DeSantis's transition team that are outspending at the local level in order for this to happen. So I don't really know what the conclusion is here on how we combat this because when you look at, <laughs> let's just be brutally honest here. Let's say we got involved. TYT money to Koch brothers money, it's different. It is very different. I think the best way to combat this is community togetherness yeah. and a coalition of understanding that this is wrong and yeah. we need to combat this. And school teachers doing what's right, perhaps breaking the law in the process. They can't lock up all of you. There has to be a demonstration of absolute integrity as it relates to these laws that are being passed that are contrary to the sentiment of progress in this nation. Don't think that Rosa Parks wanted to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Don't think that there are individuals who marched and protested and technically broke the law who would have preferred to stay at home that day and just spend time with their children. We all have sacrifices, we all have responsibilities, but we also have the fight that's in front of us too. And we can't run away from any of it.